And we are back. This is Legacy, Season 4, Episode 3. I'm very excited for this episode. It's basically the penultimate episode of Season 3. And the next week is the original finale, and then 405 of Season 4. I'm so excited. The first two episodes have been really good. I'm a little nervous. I feel like there's a 50-50 chance Hope becomes the full driver tonight. I'm not sure. I feel like... She might become a tribe as the cliffhanger, and then 404, the finale, is like the aftermath, seeing what's going to happen with that. I could be wrong. But either way, this episode is definitely going to... What's the word? Cement that. It's going to happen. I'm also praying we get some good Methan scenes tonight. Ethan is now... Possessed? Did he just... It's like, what's he gonna do with him? Did he just, like, put a part of himself inside him so he's controlling him? Is he gonna turn him into a monster? He's not gonna die, I don't think so. They're gonna save him. But I'm praying we get something with Methan after they save him. I need something. Hoping, some, hoping for some good hosey scenes, too. I feel like something really bad's gonna happen. And he's these two episodes. Like, I know we have Hope becoming a tribe, but that's the big event that's coming, but I feel like there's something else. Something unexpected. Like, Hope becoming a tribe, we all knew that was coming. But I feel like there's something else. I feel like, I feel like they want to, like, pull the rug out from under us, basically. Like, surprise us somehow. Not in a good way. Whether that happens, or it remains to, it remains to be seen. Either way, I'm just really excited for tonight's episode. Not anymore. There's this guy. He hooks me up with the good stuff. Oh, My yeah, arm fits even better than before the injury. It's off market, zero side effects, and totally undetectable. So is he like? What have you guys lost now? Possessed Three? or semi-possessed now? Ew! Ew! Strike me down, I should become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Those are Landon Kirby's favorite last words. The help? It's a close second. So is he gonna turn him into the monster for our monster for the episode? Ethan wanted to be supernatural. He tried to get me to turn him. I wouldn't do it. Uh, I thought he wasn't ready or that he wanted to for the wrong reasons but either way i just left him defenseless manifesting me then sounds to me like you <sighs> oh what the fuck is that you're making so much noise i can only assume you wanted my attention oh wow we're just we're just jumping right into it i'll call you oh that was easy Next time, don't make a monster with such a loud heartbeat. Go for the heart. like dead dead oh oh fuck I have to become a tribe oh it's coming no else gets hurt it's coming and no matter how strong you are you are still your father's daughter excuse you what do you need there's someone I need to see. They're gonna help her. Who? Someone who knows Landon better than anyone. Raph. And I need your help to get there. Raph's actor, Peyton was listed on the cast list, and so was Freya. So she's gonna talk to Raph. How does Freya come into this? Ah, oh, there he is! Oh my god! I missed you! I knew, I just knew at some point he would come back. Oh, fuck me, I'm gonna cry. You have a still? Hi! I've missed you! Oh my god. You should have seen 
this catch that I had yesterday. It was so I'm sorry, big. I just really missed it. Tastes How does Freya play into us though? Thank you. Now I'm gonna make mine. Oh, I swear to God, I'm seeing the Necromancer. Oh, wait, he's dead. Right, because Landon jumped through that. Let's ignore the bodies. I'm not sure I have much of a choice this time. You're not going to be alone, sweetie. It's really good to see you. I agree. I love your rap. I'm going to miss you. Oh, that was nice that they brought him back, though. Oh my god, this is giving me flashbacks to the series finale of the originals. On the night that, that Klaus died, Klaus and Elijah, they had like one last meal just laughing and everything. This is giving me flashbacks of that. And it's not always raining. No, stop. This is like the original series finale. Okay, it was Samarian. <laughs> stop, I'm gonna cry. Like, I know she's not permanently gonna die or anything, but it's still sad. It's reminded me of Klaus and Elijah's last night. What are you gonna miss the most? A lot of witches, when they've transitioned, lost their ability to do magic. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen, but if I never got to do a spell again, I'd miss that. Especially you two. You're hoping it's It's fine, it's fine! I'm not gonna cry, it's fine! I promise of your life. I'm in your life full of promise. Not gonna cry. <laughs> I love them so much. But it's fine. I'm not gonna cry, even though I'm already tearing up. The bad headache can give me a little quality time alone to think. Caleb, what are you doing? Still. Coming to fight the big bad alone was a poor choice. I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to make you an offer. Oh God. So many respects. See what makes me really sad is even though I know she's not permanently gonna die, you have it's still sad. Need. But it's fine, I'm not gonna cry. Is it Freya? And Freya? Hello, gorgeous. Yep, I'm gone. I'm not okay. I lied, I'm not okay. Really nothing to worry about. Frankly, I'm only here to get a milkshake from the grill. And <laughs> to be able to say that I was present for the birth of the one and only tribrid. Freya, I love you. Family bragging rights. <sighs> if I become more like him, what if I lose the only piece of her that I have left? No, oh, honey, you won't. You are equal parts your father and mother. And she would never disappear without a fight. It was Haley. Loyal. And he would have let the world burn just to save the people he loved. Yep. <laughs> but you. You're willing to let go of someone you love to save innocent people that you'll never be me. So I am not gonna cry again. I think I already am. Josie or I becoming a vampire. That would solve the marriage, right? Oh. In theory it's possible. Oh? I'm not saying I want that. What if that actually happens? One of them Same. becomes a vampire. I want to be surrounded by people who are willing to look death in the face with me. 
and not run. Man, can this episode stop? I can't believe legacies of all shows making me cry. Legacies. So what, is she gonna stop her heart? Legacies of all shows would make me cry. I feel like it's because the tone of this show compared to The Vampire Diaries and The Originals is much lighter. Because The Vampire Diaries and The Originals were overall darker, whereas this is a much is, is like a much more lighter tone. Though this season is supposed to be darker, which I think we'll start after 405. Um, but yeah, this honestly. This was one of the best episodes of the entire show for me. Like, beginning to end, it was just amazing. <sighs> I love that they brought Raph back. Like, okay, I was literally trying so hard to hold in my tears in the episode. And then when I saw Raph, that's when I started getting really, really emotional. And then once, once I saw Freya, that's when I lost it. Though, that, that part with the fairy man confuses me a bit. So the light... That he wants to take her to is peace. Oh, okay, I feel like it's a lot more complicated than that. What the fuck is gonna happen next week? I'm, I'm genuinely kind of excited, and we're getting a Methan fight. This is how I can still get Methan. Okay, literally, it's coming. Literally, I don't care. I am manifesting it. And Caleb? So did he offer himself for Cleo? So is he gonna let Cleo go now? I don't know. I guess we'll find out next week, but... Oh my god. This episode was just fucking emotional. And I love the scenes with Hope, Lizzie, and Josie. Especially when they did the spell and the flower trees and everything. Damn. I still can't believe Legacies made me cry. Legacies. God. And now I'm actually finding myself genuine, like, normally I tend to be just kind of like going with the flow with this show, but now I'm actually kind of genuinely excited. And I'm still sticking with what I said before that I think something else really bad is going to happen next week. Hope becoming a tribe raid, we all knew that was coming. I feel like something a lot more unexpected is coming, like a death. Because I can't stop thinking about what, um, what was it, 302? When the Sphinx said that one of the students will die, I think it was. I don't remember exactly, but Oh, God. 
I'm just genuinely kind of scared, but also excited. And then after next week, we get Rebecca back for 405. <laughs> but yeah, now I can't stop thinking about that shot in the promo of MG and Ethan. Yeah, you're never gonna hear me. St you're never gonna get me to shut up about me, Ethan. But yeah, after next week, things are definitely not gonna be the same. I'm excited for the dark. Like, it already feels like it's getting darker. But I think the dark tone is supposed to take place starting with 405. And I actually really do hope that they do get rid of Malivore next week. Like, just do it already. He's just so... Such a boring villain. So I really kind of hope, even if he's not permanently killed, like like I said last week, even if he's like the Catherine of the show, which I think he's supposed to be, basically, where, yeah, they can get rid of him, but then he can still be, like, overall in the shadows, and they, they can bring him back for like, the final season, whatever that is. But after next week, I think, yeah, we need to get rid of him. If anything, yes, bring him back for the final season, but after next week, until then, get rid of him. Because the whole point of her becoming a tribe is to get rid of Malivore. So if it doesn't work, then... But it has to work. But yeah. I'm scared. I think this is the most excited I've ever been for Legacies before. Like I said, normally I just kind of tend to go with the flow and everything with the Monster of the Week thing, but now I'm like really excited. I really don't know what's I don't know what's gonna happen. Obviously, like I said, I think Landon and Cleo are gonna be fine. I do think someone will die though permanently. Hmm. Like, cause like. I, can't, I still keep thinking about it. Hope they can retry by something we all knew was coming. So I feel like there's something... Because remember, next week was supposed to be the original Season 3 finale. So I feel like something else is coming. But we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, overall, this was honestly one of my favorite episodes of the entire show. Like, beginning to end, it was just amazing. Oh my god, the dinner scene... Like, that hurt because, like, don't get me wrong, it was beautiful, but it reminded me of the original series finale. The night that Klaus and Elijah died, they had the last meal, and they were lit laughing and everything. It reminded me of, it was like a parallel to that. Granted, we all know she's not permanently going to die, she's going to become a tribrid and everything, but it was still really sad, but it was beautiful, in a way. Yeah, next week, I really don't know what's going to happen. If they do get rid of Malivore, I'll be happy. A little shocked, because I feel like they're never actually going to get rid of him. Okay, fine, bring him back for the final season, fine. But until then, get rid of him, because, like, bring in a new big bad, because Malivore is just not a good villain. He's just boring. Although, I will say, he's a lot more interesting when, he possess when he's possessing Landon. And I think that's mainly because... When he's possessing Landon, Arya really nails it. So he's a lot more interesting like that. Until, but other than that, he's just boring. So yeah, next week we have... Caleb is a dragon now? So I'm assuming he offered himself in exchange for Cleo. So does that mean Cleo's back now, next week? I mean, obviously I think she and Landon will be okay. They'll get them out. I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. I keep thinking about the Methan fight next week. Like, MG, save your boy. Kayla literally called him, your boy. So yeah, anyway, that is it for now. That is Legacy Season 4, Episode 3. Overall, really, really good episode. Best of the season so far, and one of my favorite of the entire show. I feel like next week it might also be one of my favorites. I'm genuinely excited, but I'm kind of scared. It feels good to be genuinely excited for an episode of Legacies, but at the same time, I still can't believe an episode of Legacies made me cry. I don't think I've ever cried on this show. Well, I did cry in season one when 
Josie and Lizzie had to say goodbye to Joe. That was sad. But other than that, I don't think I've cried on this show before. Legacies of all shows. Legacies. Still can't believe it. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this episode and your theories for next week's original season 3 finale. And I will see you guys next time.